Best two out of three falls. These two have been going at it for the better part of a year since the summer of 2019. Cruising from the fast lane, Levy Cruz up against Crixus, the monster, the muscle of the faction known as Zero Sympathy. It's gonna take to figure out the best two of three falls, I think, to finally settle the score. I don't think you could ask for a better combination to watch in the ring. You got the powerhouse in Crixus. You got the high flyer in Levy Cruz. It could really go either way. Who catches who? I guess you'll have to stay tuned. So much unpredictable action headed your way from Elk River, Minnesota, the AWF on 45 TV. In a time of uncertainty when you need protection, remember Insurance Man. He'll answer the call. From Auto Home Health and Life, he is ever vigilant. Insurance Man is Ben Bauman, an ordinary citizen with extraordinary abilities. He is your protector, ensuring everything, including peace of mind. And he never wears a mask. Remember his signal. North Central Insurance and Ben Bauman Insurance Man. We've got you covered. Hi, Tom Monahan here from Monahan's Marine in Little Falls. We're your ice castle RV and camper and fish house dealer. We have a large selection of units on display from the 8-foot Scout to the 26-foot Leech Lake Edition. So make your tracks to Monahan's Marine because we're here to sell them, not display them. We're Monahan's Marine, your ice castle dealer. We're right on the price, right on the water, and right on Highway 10 south of Little Falls. Main Street Music and Electronics has been the premier one-stop music shop in Elk River for more than 30 years. We buy, sell, trade, and rent guitars, amps, drums, orchestral and band instruments, keyboards, sheet music, pro audio, and DJ equipment. Quality band instrument rentals start at just $8 per month with free maintenance. You can schedule private lessons with one of our qualified instructors. We even repair your instruments, amplifiers, TVs, and other electronics on site. So stop in today and see why. Dad, you're a Crixus, I'm going to use my speed against you. I'm going to be quick, and I'll make sure you don't use that power of yours. This isn't a big match, all right? This might be a bit personal because he's been getting in my way of getting the TV title back, but this is not a big match. I will crush him tonight. I mean, I'm, I'm still impressed with Lovey's entrance. The guy, he's like a, a, a bouncing ball. It's amazing. It's almost unnatural agility that this <laughs> youngster has. The kid, this stuff, kid, the kid, this, the stuff this kid can do, I can't even talk, is, it's unbelievable, it's unimaginable, and you got to see him in person. And of course, we'd love to see you at ringsideproawf.com. Find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash proawf. We travel all over the upper Midwest, not just here in the state of Minnesota, but a good stretch of AWF events coming to the state of Iowa. We'd love to see you at one of those. Crixus, the monster, the power of zero sympathy in there with Levy Cruz. These two have been going at each other's throat since last summer when they were going for the AWF Television Championship. Ooh, look at Levy Cruz. Oh my God, he's so fast. But into the waiting arms of the monster, Crixus. Oh! Cruz just landed on his feet. How did he do that? I mean, a belly to back suplex and the guy lands on his feet. And he's driven to the ground, he lands on his feet. Amazing. Cruz to the top rope. This could be risky when this is best two out of three falls to make a high risk offense like this. Unique arm drag to say the least. And that time Cruz went low. Absolutely, take him out at the legs, oh, DJ. Got that car, got the gas pedal. Move, salt, move. Crix slides out of the way. Cruz ducks under the clothesline. Oh! Flying head scissor takeover. And a drop kick. That, that, was, that was on its mark. And One. despite giving up oh. 77 pounds, Levy Cruz just taking it to Crixus. Just because your life is busy doesn't mean your dog's social life should suffer. Dakota's Doggy Daycare Hotel and Salon in Elk River keeps your dog social with supervisor-led group playtime with other dogs. Indoors and outdoors, your dog will get the right amount of attention and play, plus personal one-on-one -on -one grooming to make sure your dog is all fresh and clean when they are ready to come home. Traveling overnight? Boarding also available with personal space and premier comfort. Stop by today and see for yourself. 
Dakota's Doggy Daycare Hotel and Salon in Elk River. Hi, I'm Scott Stewart and welcome to WeatheredWoodMN.com where we sell brand new and matched knotty pine tongue and groove. Our wood is clean, high quality and ready to install. We have several pallets to choose from. You can even customize your colors at no extra charge. We also sell knotty pine, raw and pre-finished, six and eight inch for your home or cabin. Barn wood, barn doors, custom mantles. Come see us today in Isanti or stop by our showroom in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Crawford Equipment is the family owned and operated outdoor power equipment specialist in Cambridge, Minnesota. Crawford Equipment specializes in the best and latest in outdoor power products, such as loaders, tractors, utility motors, and residential lawnmowers. Brands like Bobcat, Toro, Xmark, Massey Ferguson, and many more. We also offer pre-owned equipment, rentals, and parts and service maintenance as well. Call in or stop by today. You'll be glad you did. Crawford Equipment, located off of Highway 95 Northwest in Cambridge, Minnesota. So much bad blood between these two. Frixis, of course, cost Levy Cruz his last match when when Cruz was in a, actually taking on downtown P.D. Brown. Look at Levy Cruz, oh my God, right oh. into that chair. This, this isn't no disqualification, is it? I, I, I didn't think it was, I thought it was the best of three. Referee Tom Simon, two, three, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the first fall is Crixus. Just like that, Crixus with the first fall, and I guess that's a judgment call perhaps on the referee that he didn't hit him with the chair, he was just holding the chair, and Levy Cruz went flying into it. And here we go, just like that, into the second fall. Crixus is going for it right now, two. It's a smart move on his part. Oh. I mean, I mean he, he's literally la la land. Again. Crixus taking it to Levy Cruz, and now he's just showing some unmitigated frustration. Yeah, that, but you know what he's doing? He's, over, he's overpowering him with his strength. His brute strength is what he's doing. As Crixus overpowers Levy Cruz, Crixus, it seems like, wait a minute, as he's rolled up there by Cruz, one, two. Shoulders up. Crixus under some pressure, it seems. I get a vibe from Crixus from, from the system in zero sympathy. Wait a minute. Just like that, Levy Cruz evens the score. Let me ask you where... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the second fall, Levy Cruz. Are his comrades not allowed to ringside? Uh, uh, the system is general manager, and as you know, he sets the rules around here. So if the system and Sterling Bond wanted to be out here, what's stopping them? I find it kind of odd, don't you? Oh, big clothesline. I mean, don't you find it a little odd that they're not out here? I mean, there may be some, some tension within the ranks of zero sympathy, as we know Crixus blaming the system a little bit for a recent loss that he had here in the American Wrestling Federation. Let me ask you, was he to blame? Well, of course, when you get into the squared circle, you're on your own. It's your responsibility, ultimately, yeah, I get to that. win or lose. However, when you're used to having that support from your fellow members of Zero Sympathy, ooh, Levy Cruz fights back. So let me ask you this. Is Zero Sympathy struggling from the inner core? Are they starting to diminish, fall apart, what, whatever you want to say? Well, we could only hope. We, of course, have that big match coming up between the system and downtown P.D. Brown. But when you have the general manager, whether you like it or not, what he's doing, you have to figure that that's an advantage to your positioning here in the AWF as it relates to, to positioning on the card, as it relates to championship opportunities. For Crixus to not have that, who I don't know, as he takes it right now to Levy Cruz, A couple of good rights by Levy. Oh my. Yeah, caught him with a low blow. Crixus he's, he's just into the basket. Lifting that knee and now a cover to this could do it. I mean, that's let's be honest, that's the way Chris is gonna win. He's gotta keep Levy Cruz grounded, wouldn't you think? I think so indeed. Gonna take more as we've demonstrated 
with the ability, the heart, the desire of Levy Cruz. Just talking to the young man, you can tell all the energy he has for this sport and his desire to be successful. And right now, Crixus squeezing away on Levy Cruz. And of course, we got to talk about Levy Cruz looking forward to another tour of the UK. He and his fellow partner in NDS Riley Jackson were successful on the last one. You got to figure is is uh, Levy Cruz maybe looking too quickly across the pond? Yeah, I think I think he needs to stay grounded. I think he needs to develop some more skills. Maybe put a little bit of muscle on, and I think in another year or so, he'll be ready to go somewhere. But I think. He needs to hone his skills a little more before he uh, starts jumping around. I don't know what your opinion is. That's just my. Wait a minute. Roll up Whoa. one, two. Levy Cruz almost got the Duke right there. Kick to the gut. Crixus reverses the Irish whip. Cruz goes flying into the buckle in. Crixus hitting a drop catch. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that. We've talked about Crixus putting on the upper body weight that he's developing a rel wound. Well-rounded offense like that. Very impressive from yeah, also Crick, a young man. Crixus has come so far. He's developed so much in the in the few years he's been in this business. I can honestly say he's probably one of the best in the Midwest right now. And certainly his track record has showed that as he has brought that steel chair into the fray. Possession between the top and the middle ropes over there in that near corner. It's be dangerous for Levy Cruz. Yeah, real dangerous. The power of Crixus, are you kidding me? Ooh, Cruz puts on the brakes. Oh my goodness! Crixus face first go in the... the lights. Now, now, right now, if Levy can somehow get to his feet, this is when he needs to capitalize on Crixus. Crixus right now is weak, and it's hard to find the man at a weak point. Now he's weak. He doesn't know where he is, he's dazed. Levy Cruz has got to make his move, DJ. Absolutely, as Crixus brought that chair in, I assume with the intention of doing damage to Levy Cruz, instead doing damage to himself and maybe his own chances of being victorious in this contest. If you're just joining us, best two out of three falls, each man with one fall thus far, the next pinfall or submission or disqualification or count out will decide it. I don't know if Levy Cruz is going to win this one by exchanging right hands. He's got to win on speed. I, oh, there's some fast punches, those kicks. I mean, he's just wrapping those things off. Underneath the closed line. Levy Cruz with a knee. He's got him now. He's got to stay on him. Stay on him, Levy. Close line into the buckle. Here we go, Levy Cruz getting that momentum. Pedal to the metal and he connects to Crixus. Make your next pre-owned vehicle purchase easy with Rum River Auto Sales. We have over 75 years of combined experience. Our team is courteous, low pressure, and ready to assist you for an easy car buying experience. My granddaughter, when she needed a vehicle, I know that I can send her down here and they'll take care of her. Quality vehicles at aggressive pricing for any budget. Cars, trucks, vans to SUVs. Rum River Auto Sales has you covered. Buy, sell, trade, and financing available. Browse online or stop in today to find the vehicle that is right for you at Rum River Auto Sales in Cambridge. Ramsey Bicycle is the top bike shop in the Twin Cities, specializing in truck bikes, but carrying a vast array of other brands as well. We also carry all of the attachments and accessories you're looking for. Don't forget, we also repair and maintain your bikes. So visit us today at Highway 10 in Ramsey. Family owned and operated since 1955, Larson Cycle is the region's largest power sports dealer, carrying the latest from Honda, Suzuki, KTM, and more. Mike and the crew are happy to help you find the perfect recreational vehicle or keep you running right with a variety of parts and services. Asphalt, dirt, off-road and more. Larson Cycle has you covered. Visit Larson Cycle online at larsoncycle.com or stop by today. Larson Cycle, Minnesota's low price leader, located in Cambridge, Minnesota. Levy Cruz to the ring apron. What's he gonna do? Second rope. Look at that connecting with Crixus on the outside of the ring. Wow. wow. 
beautiful, That's amazing crisp aerial offense. And now, Levy Cruz in there. DDT in the middle. Crixus is rocked. He might have him. He needs to go for the cover right now. Brings him over to the middle of it. He bit. might have him, DJ. One, two, and ooh. Danged if you do, danged if you don't. If you leave him by the ropes, Crixus could easily get the foot over the bottom rope. It took he, the time instead yeah. to bring him to the middle. But yeah, and he took a little too much time. That's really what it was. I, I don't know that Crixus would have got his foot to the rope right there. He was a little out. What's going on here? Levy's got something up his sleeve. Steering through the chicane. Into the straightaway. Oh. Wow, he's like Spider Man. Crixus connected that time, though. Levy Cruz is done. One, two, three. Oh! That's a two count and a very close one at that. Unbelievable. Of course, we talked about the size advantage. We talked, too, about the agility and aerial offense Levy Cruz is able to use. But when you're on the canvas, that isn't a hell of beans worth of help for you. No. I got to agree with you there, brother. As Crixus now front face lock. No. Brings Levy Cruz into that turnbuckle. Look for a suplex. Yes, he did. Hard I call suplex indeed. Tony Danucci executed by Crixus. And now Crixus to the apron. Oh, this is a little odd for me. Was he going to climb the buckles? He, I've never seen him go to the top oh before. Why he's going to the top, I have no clue. For his sake, I hope he has a darn good reason for electing to go to the top rope. And he cuts! <laughs> Levy Cruz with that super kick. Right in the chin. Oh, that's got to be it. He's got to be out. He's Shoots the half. Be out. One, two, three. That is it! Spectacular victory for Levy Cruz. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the third and final fall, and thus, your winner of this best two out of three falls bouts, Libby Cruz! What a victory for Levy Cruz. These two gave it all that they had. Crixus powerful. These two gonna shake hands, really? That's that's that. Levy Cruz asking a member of Zero Sympathy for a handshake, and Crixus, my goodness, showing some sportsmanship. Wait a minute! Someone who works for the system just shook the hand of his opponent after he. Yeah, lost but the I keep match? I keep asking you, where is the system? Where where are where where is his where are his comrades right now? Good question, and Crixus even even clapping for the man. Tony Danucci here. Are you having credit problems? Not anymore. Here at Brandle Motors, we guarantee credit approval in a new or newer car. No matter what the temperature, it's always 70 year round on our show floor and it's a huge inventory. I guarantee your loan will be approved, so stop by our Little Falls store and check us out or go to BrandleMotors.com and tell them Tony sent you. This year, express yourself the right way with Cloud9 Tattoo and Body Piercing. Clean, friendly, and competitive pricing with a tattoo minimum of $70 and piercing starting at just $40. All your traditional tattooing is provided along with touch-ups, cover-ups, and scar masking. Stop by and check out the wide range of body jewelry and pick out the right piece for you. Tony Danucci here. When it comes to tattoos, Cloud9 did mine. JJ's Clubhouse is your family-friendly sports bar and grill since 1992. Offering a relaxed atmosphere with great food, awesome drinks, and fond memories. Daily drink specials perfect for game night. Plus breakfast served every weekend until 2 p.m. Located just outside of downtown Minneapolis on Highway 394. JJ's Clubhouse, sports bar and grill. Open late, seven days a week.
I just love coming to Minnesota Equipment. You walk through these doors and it's just truly amazing. With the gator, the tractors, the excavator, the skid steer, and all those small power tool equipment that Minnesota Equipment provides, this farm would not function. I decided on Minnesota Equipment for three reasons. The honesty of the sales force, the quality of the machinery, and lastly, service. John Deere is very reliable, and the service at Minnesota Equipment is very personal. John Deere has a piece of equipment for every need on our farm, and Minnesota Equipment is always there to support us when we need it. Are your old electronics or appliances taking up space? B&E Recycling has you covered. B&E will buy your aluminum, cans, copper, brass, wire, stainless, and radiators. They accept batteries, tin, scrap steel, and scrap iron. Even miscellaneous items from fluorescent bulbs to cardboard. B&E will dispose of your old appliances and electronics. Visit B&E online today for the latest rates and online exclusive coupons. B&E Recycling, Highway 10, Elk River. On our first episode of the Draper Dialogues, I did talk to downtown PD Brown and asked him, uh, what are some of his dream matches? And he actually listed you. He would like a <laughs> shot at that American Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship. Uh, oh, since I got you on the show, uh, JDX, how about it? You and PD inside the ring once this coronavirus is over. What do you think? Hey, I'm down. I'm down. Like, for the lack of a better, like, term, I'm down. Like, I'm, PD and I, we're good friends. No one, like, that's not, um, I don't think that's a secret. Like, he's saved me time and time again from, uh, what's that faction called? It's no longer uh, an existence. Zero Sympathy. Zero Sympathy. That's their name. Wonder whatever happened to them. Uh oh. That's another sort of fun. Egomaniacs topic. at the top, like the system, and everything just comes crumbling down, you know? On demise. Uh, but yeah, man, he saved me a lot of times from now. So he always had my back. But little, I think, actually, yes, one of my, like, second matches, I believe, was against downtown PD Brown in under the AWF umbrella. So, you know, even though it's a, like he called it a dream match, I guess, like, to do it again, yeah, sure, but. We've done it. Well, you've got that, that gold on your shoulder there. That certainly yeah. has to change the equation. Yeah, he's, trying to, he's trying to he's trying to talk his way into to a title match. I see what he's trying to do. You ain't out, you ain't fooling JDX. But uh, how about I pose that question to you now? Uh, what are some of your dream matches looking forward here uh, as your career goes? What may even be on the other side of the horizon beyond the AWF or even? Locally here in the upper Midwest, who do you want to get in the squared circle with? Um, I think guys, like, they come to mind. Upper Midwest, I would say probably, like, uh, maybe a Trey Lamar. Um, he's a young, upcoming, upcoming, um, very athletic guy. Um, God, there are a lot of people I would love to get in the ring with that, like, when you put me on the spot like that, it's hard for me to think of them. Um, I, like, right here in Minnesota, though, uh, Devon Moreau, like uh, we've yet to lock horns in, in the ring. Um, I think who else have I not really gotten a square circle with? Like some of the guys that I say I use for inspiration, like current day, like the Ricochets of the world, Cedric Alexander's, uh, Shane Strickland's, Isaiah Swerve Scott, um, uh, MJF. Um, man, even like Randy Orton, like I think it would be awesome to face Orton, like like his his pace and his style like his way that he likes to tell a story um edge now that he's back you know um, guys like that those would be awesome dream matches um yeah for sure seth rollins um yeah guys like that that would be that would be awesome to face guys like that um ach most definitely all right jdx uh overall if you had to be put on the spot right now, what are your biggest goals that you have looking forward as a professional wrestler? Um, I want to, like I said earlier, like my goal, my dream was always to to be um, in the WWE, and like you know now current day, like we have a, a a rival. You know, some people don't consider a rival brand, but like or AEW. That's it, either way, like. I'm looking to, you know, as much as I love AWF, as much as I, you know, I always like to say, uh, you know, um, 
Chicago raised me, but Minnesota embraced me. Like I love Minnesota. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, I do have, you know, bigger dreams and aspirations and that's to one day be on TV, you know, like to whether that's, you know, now, you know, expanding my, um, expanding my horizon, you know, as far as the way I think like a AEW or a WWE, that's my ultimate goal. Like, honestly, it's WWE, but I don't want to say I'll settle because I'm not the one to settle, but if they came knocking, who am I not to answer the door, you know? So, yeah, absolutely. And to just create a living off of it, even if I was to never, ever reach it, like to, you know, have that, as we said, like the shoot, you know, like, you know, that would be it to earn a living off of wrestling. All right. We're going to finish it off with just, I got three rapid fire questions for you here being uh, from Chicago. I want to get your thoughts on some very, very uh, relevant things. Uh, Deep dish pizza, fantastic or an overrated gimmick? It depends on where you get it from. It all depends. Elaborate just a bit. Um, so for me personally, like I'm a very picky eater. (laughs) So like the sauce, like the sauce has to be good, the the crust to be good. Like, so like there are certain restaurants in Chicago, like where like you'll go to a uh, and I'm, came in like people from Chicago. If you watch this, don't don't clown me too hard for this. But Lou Malinati's or something like that, like uh, <laughs> there that place is like an overrated gimmick for me personally. Like their thin crust, I had it like after several times of trying to deep dish, and the thin crust I was happy with, but the deep dish wasn't that grand for me personally um i feel like gia which we have here in minnesota so oh, yeah. check that out it's an uptown a uh, rich if you've never had it um theirs is pretty good it's also a place in chicago um called beggar's pizza theirs is pretty good i would imagine although i've never had it but the thin crust is amazing home run in which they do have in um uh, like walmart yeah, and the, like, they have sure. pizza that's pretty accurate um i would imagine their deep dish is good i've never had it but like their thin crust is awesome, so, like, yeah. Getting hungry over here. Uh, <laughs> Sox or Cubs? Oh, I'm Cubs all day. Cubs. 2016, man, 2016 Cubs. <laughs> that parade. Man, what a time to be alive. And uh, lastly, Jordan or LeBron? Oh, come on, DJ. I feel like that's a rhetorical question. What? Now, if you're talking, like, greatest... Goat. Of all time, I'm going to say Jordan, but my, my, like, as you can see, like with the things, the theatrics of what I do, LeBron, like LeBron James, that's one of my biggest aspirations, like inside of wrestling, even though he's not a wrestler, obviously, like, but I look to him and Jordan too. Jordan's great. And Kobe's great. You know, I look to those guys for motivation and stuff. Actually, before we did this, I was watching the last dance, you know, the Chicago Bulls that, you know, they're, they're, you know, the way they dominated the nineties. So. Yeah, but LeBron, to answer your question. All right. That was right. great, but for me. <laughs> All right, well, JDX, that's going to wrap things up here on the Draper Dialogues. Any parting words for the wrestling fans out there in social media land? Um, I can't wait to be back in the square circle. I can't wait to be back in front of you guys and entertain you guys. Like, you know, we're going to – we're going to – roll and clap our hands to some you know to some good old jdx steam music can't wait. can't wait to defend the belt again for you guys um hopefully it's in 2020 you know um i'm just looking forward to it well thanks so much for taking some time i know that all the awf fans out there uh really are glad to hear from you and we can't wait to see you back inside the squared circle again in the near future be well my friend You as well. Thank you for having me, DJ. And we'll join you next time here on the AWF Facebook page for another edition of the Draper Dialogues. We want to remind everyone, be safe out there, mn.gov slash COVID-19 for all the latest here in the state of Minnesota. Take care of yourselves, take care of your family, and we can't wait to see you back with the AWF in the very near future. So long, everyone.